Hi everyone, so this month's giveaway is for this beautiful gold foil tarot deck. Um, now this does actually come with the wooden gift box as well. And this one is still sealed in its wrapper on the inside if I can just get it open. There you go, see so it's a brand new sealed deck unused unopened and i've got my version of the deck right next to it so that you can see what it looks like okay right so with this one all you need to do to enter into this draw is just leave a comment underneath your video saying that you're interested in winning this deck okay that's it please don't leave any of your personal information in the comments because we do need to keep you all safe okay so that's all you need to do is just say yeah i'm interested in the deck we'll put your name in for the draw and then a winner will be selected at random okay and this giveaway is open from september the 1st until september the 30th 2023 all right good luck Hi Gemini, we are doing your love reading for September 2023. As always, you only take what belongs to you and you leave what isn't resonating, okay? Cross watchers, you also definitely do need to use your discernment as this can easily be reversed or it might not even be about you at all, okay? Everything that you need to know, as always, you can find in my description box, okay? So Gemini, how does this relationship or connection currently stand? Well, your first card out is the Knight of Wands, okay? So that could be a really excited energy, someone with a lot of drive, a lot of uh, passion and ambition, and the Six of Coins. Okay, so, uh, I mean, it, it looks good so far, okay? You, you've got this... Um, very creative energy here with the knight of wands um but it also shows that someone either you or your person you're taking this connection more casual okay so it's like you're not in too much of a rush to to make things serious or committed okay but th th there is still this equality that is going on as well with the six of coins okay so it's relaxed it's very um it, it's at the place where neither individual has got any kind of ambition to impress the other you know it, it's it's more of you know what we, we'll see what happens when it happens okay we, we, we'll just play it by ear right it, it's a nice relaxed energy um how do they feel about you right now gemini someone's dealing with a capricorn i'm just getting that intuitively okay uh right so you've got strength and the page of cups so how this person feels about you gemini looks really really positive okay they are um they, they are trying to hold themselves back with the with the strength energy you could be dealing with a leo you've also got taurus and sagittarius here uh, you could be dealing with a water sign also they're trying to hold themselves back, okay? Um, they're completely on board with not rushing things. Um, they they see you as being really gentle-natured, um, very, very kind, uh, very generous also, okay? And it's showing me that this individual is also wanting to give back to you as well. So they're probably wanting to do something nice for you here okay what are their challenges or what are the challenges in this particular connection uh the nine of cups and the ace of wands okay as a challenge position um there could be trust issues here okay uh, presenting as a challenge for both of you i'm feeling with this combination someone feels challenged by and and th this is really really personal information that's coming through okay so again use your discernment because it's not going to resonate for everybody 
someone feels challenged by the other person's um, past experience with being physically intimate. Okay, let's put it in those words because I, I need to be careful so I don't get like uh, demonetized or um, <laughs> shadow banned even more than I already have. Uh, yeah, some someone is intimidated by the other person's body count, should we say. Okay, um, it, it is presenting as a challenge. So I mean, we, we'll take a deeper look into that one, all right? What action will they take towards Gemini, please? What action will they take? The Three of Coins and the Three of Wands. Looks like they're going to get over it, all right? Any <clears throat> any kind of intimidations, paranoias that's going on, it does look like they're going to get over it, okay? With, with you, two threes back to back, I mean, it indicates that the circumstances that you're in right now, Gemini, with this person, are really, really changeable. Like, it, it could change on a dime, all right? Um, I mean, we've got collaboration and teamwork with your three of coins, and then you've got future proofing and future planning here as well with your three of wands, okay? Um, it shows me that this individual is feeling really quite serious about you and about the connection. They're feeling um, positive about the direction that the relationship's headed in. And they're definitely willing to uh, work with you here. Okay. They're, they're also showing that they're wanting to learn more about you. Okay. Let's see advice here, please, for Gemini and their person. See advice here, please. The Empress and the Tower. That's an interesting combination. The Empress and the Tower. So, fertility and creation right next to destruction and devastation. Um, okay. I'm feeling that this is advice, Gemini, that something needs to go someone's and it feels like someone's preconceived notions so if one of yous within this particular scenario <clears throat> has gotten a bit of a, a reputation should we say the other person is needing to um, really look at why that would be and whether or not there is any truth behind the the reputation Okay, I don't feel that there's much of any truth to someone else's reputation, right? So, someone's got a, a bit of a bad rap here uh, as having like a lot of failed relationships or for sleeping around, okay? I'm not seeing that there's any truth to that. I'm really, really not. What I am seeing is quite possibly a lot of um, stories at one point have been blown out of proportion, okay? Someone else vastly over-exaggerating on, on the truth. So that's why I feel you're getting the Empress right next to the tower. Um, there could also be a situation where there's an unexpected addition Okay, so obviously if you're not planning on expanding on your current family or if you're not planning on creating a family, definitely um, use protection, okay? Because this combination can also indicate like a, a surprise pregnancy for some, not for all, okay? It's an event that happens that basically shakes someone to the very core. It shakes the, the entire foundation that, that a person has built themselves upon. Okay, it is going to be shaken up. What, what is it being shaken up? It's being shaken up by this Empress energy. Um, creation. So, I mean, th this could also indicate that someone is dealing with an individual who is of this divine feminine energy and it has been a catalyst 
into making massive changes in their lives because they've come face to face with their divine feminine counterpart you could also be this divine counterpart energy okay so again just take it as it resonates but just understand that there, there is something huge that there is a huge change a huge shake-up that is happening either to this divine feminine or because of this divine feminine and it definitely is a lifestyle change because you can see all of the butterflies on this particular em empress uh, butterflies is eighth house energy it's death it's rebirth it's a transformation okay a lifestyle change um th th this is no small deal that, that that you've got coming out in these cards gemini okay the overall energy is the five of swords five of swords um th there could be some kind of conflict that's going on i'm feeling for the most of you not all of you but for the majority this particular conflict is going to be an internal conflict for someone else and the six of swords yeah five to the six so there's some kind of progression there's some kind of acceptance here that, that's going on within another individual so that is an internal conflict for the most part someone is accepting um this connection for, for what it genuinely is and for a lot of you it looks like it's some kind of life changing life affirming type of connection very profound connection which again like depending on what side of the fence you're sitting on for this that this could have happened to you or you could have been this person's catalyst to basically grow the fuck up yeah that that's how i'm seeing that particular energy right so we're going to start clarifying this because that's just surface level stuff at the moment can we please clarify the knight of wands with the six of coins for gemini please knight of wands for the six of coins why is this here for gemini please thank you oh that's interesting so your four of cups initially it came out in the upright position but then it finally decided you know what it's going to go in reverse so you have the four of cups in reverse um this is someone working through and processing grudges of old i feel okay um for almost all of you actually that this is about choosing happiness choosing to do the right thing um choosing not to take yourself too too seriously or your person choosing not to take themselves too too seriously uh, recognizing that there is a lot more to life than what they have already experienced okay like literally choosing happiness um no longer being in this state of emotional withdrawal okay but definitely accepting something for the way that it is um i'm feeling with this one as well that that there is like a newfound sense of awareness okay uh, someone has definitely been reevaluating themselves their behavior other people's behavior but then also their responses to other people's behavior and that that's where you see in this um nice flow of energy where they're like you know what fuck it it is what it is i i can't change how people are i can only determine how i respond to other people's behaviors so do you know what i'm, I'm just going to take life at a more at a more relaxed but exciting pace okay so it's good it is a healthy way to look at things you can clarify strength with the page of cups for gemini please somebody could be dealing with a libra a taurus or an aries oh wow ah um did i mention capricorn energy it was during your pre-shuffle gemini where i was feeling quite strong capricorn energy come through 
and I can't remember if I mentioned it at the start of the read. I probably did. I'm pretty certain I did. But you've got the devil that's coming out now as well. Okay, so nine of coins with the devil. Um, interestingly enough, we've got reversals here. Empress, the star and the ace of cups in reverse. That's someone's ex. That's what this energy is here. Okay, it could be a baby mama type situation that's going on here for someone with the empress in reverse um i feel that what this is indicating gemini is someone is trying to build trust with another person and basically convince the other person that they're not still dealing with an ex whoever it is that that is saying that they're actually telling the truth okay that they are actually telling the truth uh so if 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 one person was suspicious that the other still had a feelings towards their ex and the other person's like nah fuck that shit i do not have feelings for my ex at all like as far as i'm concerned they're basically dead to me um they're, they're telling you the truth okay gemini or again like if that that could be you saying that to someone new okay um so cross watcher that would be gemini is telling you the truth okay um you're nine of coins with the devil now here's where you're needing to be a bit careful gemini because i do feel that this is your energy i really do i feel that you have been on this path of rebuilding yourself and of rebuilding your life after that previous breakup that previous breakup it could have seen some of you struggling financially it could have seen um the other person basically take from you far more than than what you could have afforded to give okay so it looks like you've been rebuilding yourself specifically financially but also like uh, as a person you've been rebuilding yourself spirit saying for you here gemini to just be cautious make sure that you're not working yourself into an early grave okay nine of coins for the devil make sure that you've not become too too fixated on um material wealth possessions right while that sort of thing in life is really really nice it's definitely not the be-all and end-all of everything okay that that's not how to we how to measure someone's worth okay for whatever reason gemini some of you have had it in your head that you're only going to be a valuable member of society through what you earn or what you have okay some of you have been brought up that way some of you are from cultures where that is a legit thing spirit saying i just remember gemini it, it's not the be all and end all okay that there is a lot more to a person than the levels of their bank account okay and again like that message still works for the gemini collective who is still struggling financially remember that a person's worth and value is not measured by their coin okay so just um make sure that you're keeping a nice balance but with that while you're rebuilding yourself work isn't everything okay some of you at the moment are literally living to work okay which isn't perhaps the healthiest all right i mean it's understandable why some of you would feel the the need to do that when you know we can see here with this kind of history it, it's a bit bad isn't it you know the empress of star and the ace of cups all in reverse like i can understand why that would then become your new priority like it makes perfect sense been there done that you know worn the t-shirt um yeah i get it i understand um so spirit is wanting for you to pace yourself right that that's the words pace yourself can you clarify the nine of cups with the ace of wands for gemini please thank you nine of wands okay so the nine of cups to the ace of wands clarified with the nine of wands the nine to the ace equates to the ten which can be a lot of responsibilities okay it can be burning your candle at both ends exhaustion and again like your, your nine of wands that's wounded warrior type energy okay so 
it's time for some of you here to um, delegate certain responsibilities so that you can free up time for a little bit of what it is that you fancy. A major, major bone of contention here for you guys is a lot to do with time management specifically. Okay, so that, that's why you're needing to delegate some kind of responsibilities so that you can free up a wee bit of time for a little bit more of what it is that you fancy. All right. And for some of you, that, that is going to be going out and dating, you know, ha having a, an adult evening away from the kids. You know, for, for some of you, it, it is going to be about that. Um, <clears throat> for others of you, it's more to do with so that you can take care of your basic necessities. Um, but definitely time management. Time management is going to be a bit of a challenge. All right. Clarify the three of coins to the three of wands for Gemini. Thank you. Judgment. Scorpionic energy. Um, I'm getting quite an intense energy off of that particular judgment, Gemini. I'm feeling that there's a lot more to this particular situation than initially meets the eye. And I'm getting a lot of vulnerability from this particular energy as well. This is someone who is going to be listening to their higher calling. This, I, I feel as well that you're going to be making your final judgment on whether or not this particular connection is going to be worth you pursuing. Okay, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, King of Cups. Again, don't focus on the gender. Okay. It's not about the gender of the individual. It's about the polarization of the feminine and the masculine principle. Now, I do feel, because this is showing in the action side of the read, I definitely do feel that, yeah, someone is keeping tabs on you here, Gemini. All right. Eight of Swords, Page of Swords. Someone's keeping tabs on you somehow. They they could, if, if you do not have an online presence, then they could be asking friends, mutual friends, your family members about you, trying to get some kind of information on you, okay? I am actually feeling that there's a couple of people who are keeping tabs on you here. One of them being that X energy, for certain, keeping tabs on you. The other one being the new individual, because they also are trying to make a final decision about you. Okay. The newer connection, I am sensing that there's a lot of mirroring that, that's going on. You're both mirroring each other's actions here quite a lot. Okay. You're trying to make a judgment call on whether or not you should pursue the connection with them. Their energy is basically the same towards you. Okay. Um, obviously, make sure that there's nothing online that you don't want to be seen. Now might be a time for you to go back and, and have a quick review about what is available online for those who do have some kind of online presence. Um, we've got emotional security and availability also with that King of Cups energy. So... I feel that you're closely watching this person or them, they are closely watching you about whether or not you're going to be a good emotional investment, whether or not they can trust you as well, King of Cups judgment, and whether or not there's a future in this particular connection. Okay, so you, you're being observed from a uh, couple of different angles for a couple of different reasons okay um hmm okay and clarify the empress with the tower please the gemini thank you so that one king of wands with the world what's under there a page of wands yeah, for some of you, there, there could well be children 
somewhere within this particular scenario. Um, I do feel that this is more to do with the budding stages of something new though. I really do. Two of coins to the two of cups. Strength, knight of coins. Yeah, um, two twos back to back. That's indicating that there could be someone trying to weigh up the pros and cons of this particular connection. <clears throat> Given what we've seen, where another person was basically that they felt like they had to try and convince the other person that they weren't still involved with an ex. That's what's gotten it to this stage of someone else sitting there going, mm, don't know, I don't know. I mean, that they're coming across as a little bit paranoid. You know, it's because that this is something fresh. That this is something reasonably new. For, for the vast majority of you. That's why there's that whole mm, should I, shouldn't I type energy that this going on. I mean, King of Wands with the world again. Listen, until someone can get over the whole thing of this person has an ex, and until someone can get past that, I, 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 this situation's going to go wrong really fucking quick if someone can't get over the fact that the other person has an ex. I, I don't know how better to word that, okay? Um, someone is definitely convinced that the other person is still lusting after an ex, and that is quite simply not the case at all. It really, really isn't. What else can you tell us for Gemini? King of Wands in the world, yeah. Because as far as the other person's concerned, it's over. Like, it, it's over to the point where it cannot possibly be fixed the world with the tower that's like total and absolute destruction total annihilation but yet there's still someone within this energy that feels like they, they have to prove themselves okay it's that bunch there feels really heavy we need to let each other go Okay, I want to feel that way again. I left before you could leave me. So there's emotional games here that's being played. I wish I could share my good news with you and I want to be more than friends. Okay, we need to let each other go. Possible that someone's person has got a bee in their bonnet and they're being overly suspicious and overly paranoid about whether or not the other person is still wanting their ex is because the ex is still wanting you, Gemini. Okay. Or vice versa. It's really difficult to, to read the energy of this and to give examples because it's so... Like, it could go in so many different ways. So, Gemini, if, it's you, if you're the one that's concerned about does my person still want their ex and you, your ex, like your person's told you no my ex is literally dead to me they're telling the truth is actually your person's ex that cannot let your person go okay and again you can flip that if it's going to resonate the other way it's like you could be convincing your person that you don't want to have anything more to do with your ex but your person doesn't quite believe that's because your ex is still after you right um, it, it, it's weird. There, there's definitely some kind of triangulation that, that's going on here. Okay. Um, emotional games are being played somewhere along the lines as well. What else? 
a Gemini, please. Bottom line is someone's ex still hasn't quite gotten the picture that the other person has long since moved on. What's going on for Gemini? Thank you. Okay, transformation, sacred union and romance. Ah, okay. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those that you love. Yeah, so it's time to build happy memories. Cupid's arrow strikes, falling in love. That's what that one's all about. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. So whoever is on the path towards apps accidentally destroying this connection with you, they're needing to be careful. A new relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Yeah, love wins. True, true love wins. I mean, I did mention some kind of rumours as well, didn't I? So someone's ex could have been spreading some nasty little rumours which caused distrust between this couple that's showing up in this spread. Someone's ex trying to split you and another person up. But it's not going to work because love wins. Simple as... Secret Spring Success. Okay, that's number 34. Yeah, it, it's really weird. Um, it's a really strange font that they've used. It is number 34. Right, and 34 reduces into a 7, and 7s are all about assessing the situation, a temporary withdrawal so that you can reflect, so that you can course correct if necessary. Um, it's building up your confidence levels as well. Number 34. Okay, this one says all things are possible. The more that you honor and celebrate the success that you already have, then the more success will pour into your life. And the more you feel it, the more love, the more prosperity, fame and fortune you will have. Act as if and feel as if you are wi wildly successful and then even more success will develop. Accept that you're already thriving. You are. And the more victories will emerge. Okay. If a situation seems to knock you down, then you get up and you take a moment to explore what it is that you've learnt and then you keep going. In Celtic traditions, secret springs were magical. Water was the source of life, and in their legends, mystical beings would emerge out of the springs and later return through them. The fairy queens and mythic heroes were said to have emerged from the springs, and these sacred wellsprings were a place to commune with the divine. Good fortune blessed those who honoured the spirit of the sacred spring. The sacred spring says, success is flowing into your life. Vitality and a glowing, youthful renewal of your body are occurring. Now is the time for you to take action in support of your dreams. There is no need to struggle and the universe has your back. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so, all things are possible. The, uh, that's like the gratitude attitude. Okay, the gratitude attitude attracts more things into your life to be to be grateful for. It's keeping things in perspective as well and being mindful of the the energy that, that you're putting out because that's oftentimes what we find that, that we get back in return. Okay, that that's the ultimate bottom line message there with that one. Uh, but yeah, that is what I have for you, Gemini. It is up to you what you do with this reading. It either resonated or it did not. Okay, it's whatever, whatever. <laughs> um, just remember that tarot, it does need to be respected, okay? It is not a scapegoat. It is not a crutch. It's a guide. And you're the one that's in charge of your own destiny for the most part.
Okay. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then you can place your booking at phoenixkiatarot.com or you can use the link that I've given you in my description box. Okay. So yeah, that is what I have for you until next time. And I do hope to see you again next time, Gemini. All right. Bye. Thank you.